welcome everybody to our event. We are very happy that you, all of you are here to hear more about the micro programs and about specifically the micro program Global Awareness. It's a pleasure to have you all here. I know, and we know that some of you are already enrolled in the program. So it's a welcome to all of you. And it's also interesting to have the new colleagues that are interested in the program so that we can exchange and have more information about it. So we have here the pleasure to present Magdalena Platis. She is our uh, series representative and she's going to welcome all of you now in this moment. So Magdalena, thank you so much for coming. She's a uh, prorector of the University of Bucharest with responsibilities in the field of quality management, social responsibility and relations with social partners. So it's a big pleasure for us to have you here. So. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Claudia, for the kind, uh, welcoming and introductory speech. Dear colleagues, dear CVs colleagues and dear CV students, I'm not going to call you anymore my students. I will call everybody CV students because this is more than a label, it's a reality. And first of all, I would like to be very grateful and to express my gratitude for uh, organizing this event. It is the first time in the history of the micro programs to have such a huge event at the beginning of our hard work that is going to come. And uh, it's a moment, a very short and efficient event that is dedicated to uh, informational issues. And this is the most important thing. We need to understand, we as professors, first of all, and then our students, what is about this micro program? Um, it is a moment of sharing uh, our experience under the CVS label, which is a wonderful alliance at the European level with 10 universities. And this is just a very small part, but maybe it's the beauty of the part we are dealing with this micro program uh, concept because we are working with students and what is more uh, beautiful than working with students again. Uh, when we started, it was just an idea. I had no idea uh, two or three years ago about the concept of micro program. So first of all, uh, please accept my honesty. It was a learning process for us as well. And uh, we learned from each other. We learned about uh, this virtual mobility, about this uh, concept and how we can work together. And I am usually a person that says yes to many things. I'm a yes person. So I said, yes, let's do it. And once we started to implement uh, our uh, programs, our courses in the micro program, we realized that this thing is more complex than we can do, so we need to be together. So we created a wonderful team, uh, and this is uh, a great experience. And I will kindly invite you, the new students that hear for the first time about micro programs, uh, to uh, accept the innovative method and to say yes and try the micro program because it's not about uh, learning just for the sake of learning it's about understanding and awareness it's about a new way of life and it's about being present being present in a global world dealing with global awareness and not only uh, i also have a special message for uh, the students that started with one course in the micro program go on continue uh, you have to finish it it's not have to because it's a must, because it's important to get credits and uh, you will uh, feel that your work was worth doing in the end when you will receive a wonderful certificate. So uh, my deepest uh, um, congratulations for you for deciding to be here today. And don't worry, you can ask me if uh, there are students from the University of Bucharest, you can ask Roxana or my colleagues from other universities and come. Uh, you will enjoy working with students from other universities. You will enjoy the learning environment from other universities. And uh, this is what creates you in the end, a uh, complete uh, graduate of the university as a CV student. Thank you very much and let's work. Thank you, Magdalena. Thank you so much for your kind words. And now we are going to start 
our presentation um, and to inform you about the agenda for today. So we are going to start explaining what is a microprogram. And then we are going to talk specifically about the microprogram global awareness. Then we present the team. I mean, some people that uh, you're used to talk to, but don't know the faces. So now you're presenting the team. And then in the end, we are going to have a Q&A session. So now I hand over to Nadia and Oksana to present uh, what is a microprogram. Hello, so um, together I'm Roxana Zuz from University of Bucharest, but I want to introduce also uh, my colleague uh, in the challenges of uh, virtual mobilities and micro program from um, uh, University of Madrid. Yes, Nadia, she's also Hello. here with us. Hi, hi. Okay, I was looking for your image. <laughs> Yes, so uh, I will let Nadia, uh, yeah, because we come from different fields. Yes, Nadia is coming from economics, I'm coming from physics, but we having, what we have in common was uh, the virtual mobility task force within CIVIS. And there, um, as you already heard from, uh, from uh, our vice rector at the University of Bucharest, we had the challenge of creating learning opportunities for, for you, our students, Yes, in order to address better your needs, but also to allow you to broaden your um, your knowledge in in different uh, in very different topics. Yeah, and one of the um, learning activities that uh, we have prepared and developed was a micro program. It started really as uh, an opportunity to have a virtual or blended. Um, um, educational activity, yeah, and we give you, uh, in fact, something complementary. The, the idea was to give you something complementary to your study, but also to give you the chance, uh, you as students and uh, to uh, also to the uh, academics to, to create and um, develop together something for CVs as a, as a whole, yes. So um, you have here a flash of a definition, which is quite broad. What is a microprogram? We say it represents learning components that offer uh, students either short or medium-sized learning activities. The topics can vary. Uh, the formats can vary, as you will see for here, what we have in global awareness, you, you, we have uh, different units of learning that can either consist of a list of courses from which you can choose, but also um, you can have a unit dedicated to a project that it can be uh, research or practice. And again, to put, uh, uh, to put everything together, we can start from something that already existed in the CIVIS curricular offer, or that there are courses or activities specially designed for the purpose of a micro program, as you will hear for the global awareness. We have both, uh, both uh, types of, um, of um, curricular offers. Uh, what we had in mind again was to give you uh, the opportunity of choosing your learning and training interests apart from your main field of study and also to interact with uh, with fellow students from CVs and fellow academics. Yeah? Uh, as you will see in a bit, we have different micro programs that were created. What all all of them have in common the idea of offering new learning experiences, but also to include innovative pedagogies, give you the opportunity of uh, using the languages within CVs, have cultural exchanges, make connections in the alliance, and have approaches that can be either disciplinary, something that you are used to, or transdisciplinary. You will see that the courses are sometimes are offered and the global awareness program is in fact was started to be offered by three partner universities uh, the university of tubingen that coordinated the micro program then with the colleagues from madrid and bucharest but now we are extending the the team so uh, glaucia if we go to the next slide 
if you have the curiosity to to look at the on the CVS web page, you will see that currently there are six running micro programs, and uh, the offer will increase as uh, maybe Nadia will add a word or two. Um, University of Madrid will coordinate uh, next uh, the micro programs within CVS. Uh, the um, the idea is to. Um, uh, yeah, is to offer as many opportunities to you as possible. We started with the micro program global awareness and with the civic engagement, and we are very happy to tell you that we are at run number four. Yeah, we uh, developed them, we increased the offer of uh, courses, we try to adapt according to the students that already followed the micro program, and we hope to have you here. Uh, now I will let uh, Nadia tell you on the next slide uh, a bit on uh, the ECTS recognition and how your learning activities can be recognized in general. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Roxana. So as you may know, all CVS courses are based on ECTS or credit certification for European educational institutions. So therefore, all CVS courses have ECTS corresponding to the learning outcomes and study hours of the course. So in CVs, micro programs can be from five ECTS to 15 ECTS. Uh, when talking about credit recognition, the credit recognition at your home institution could be partial or full, depending on the national legislation or regulation. So it's really, really important, please to check with your institution how many credits can be recognized. Uh, the degree of recognition is usually very clearly indicated on the university websites when you access information on uh, microprograms. So please uh, check. In any case, a certificate of attendance is always provided of each course you take. And when you have accumulated all the credits necessary for the certification of your competences in a microprogram, you will be provided with a certificate of completion and expertise in that topic. But uh, in addition, uh, there's a recognition on the CVS passport. Uh, it's a digital passport platform which provides the record of all learning activities undertaken by all the students and uh, with the, all the information supporting recognition and transparency for learning recognition and uh, mobility. So the CVS passport is a digital identity. Uh, of CV students based on blockchain technology. So you will have a digital credentials with all the information of all your courses undertaken in CVs that it's stored permanently and uh, securely. Uh, you may think, um, Glass said you can change the next slide. You may think why it's important or why to uh, follow a, a micro program. Um, the micro program, for our perspective, is an added value in uh, any CV. Firstly, because it's a mud modular offer with quality accredited by all the universities, as Roxana has mentioned. So, uh, because it can be regular courses from the existing curricula of uh, the CVs universities or totally new design, but there's always a quality assurance and they are open only to CVs students. So, you form part of the CVs educational community. Uh, this is why it's an educational offer with a very distinctive and exclusive uh, approach. Uh, it's not a micro program of one university, it's a joint program designed between different, at least three um, universities in TVs. Secondly, one of the most important added value is that it shows real interest of the students for a specific uh, topic or subject, whether or not it's part of uh, your degree. And I think it's really important. Thirdly, the added value, an important added value is, is the possibility of internationalized internationalization at home. I hate this word, really. Uh, because uh, as you may know, the different courses could be presumption, blended, or totally online. So the different formats in which it's offered, the possibility of uh, coming in contact with different uh, other students or professors from other universities in very different formats. And I think, um, um, you know, it's really uh, important in the world we are living. And fourthly, the micro program certificates competences and skills uh, uh, in specific topics. So, and that leads another value in today's labor market, which is looking in 
for differentiating elements among the potential workers. So uh, we really think uh, you are following, or you will be following a new flexible educational offer. And I think Lauciana is going to explain, you know, in deep exactly, you know, how, um, you know, the outputs, the, the goals and the aims of the um, Global Awareness Micro Program. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you, Rosanna, for the explanation. Yes. So when we created the micro program Global Awareness, we had in mind that we wanted to give the opportunity for students from all subjects and all degrees to know more about global process, processes, transnational processes, and so on, cross-border phenomena, things that we hear a lot on the media. We know that we are affected by this phenomena, but we need to learn more about it. So we that our efforts in the University of Bucharest, Madrid, and Tübingen to offer you these courses. So the idea is that we have development of inter interdisciplinary competencies and problem-solving skills. So we students here are learning also in innovative formats. And we also have uh, courses related to social sciences, humanities, and natural sciences. So the students are also having a broad offer of courses. So in the micro program Global Awareness, you can apply three times a year. So we have an application period in December until mid-January. You have one in March and one in September. Uh, when you start your uh, activity in the micro program, you are going to be uh, led to Moodle, and there you can see the list of courses that we are offering. I mean, as we were piloting that program until now, so we are still um, struggling to offer more courses for you and to see what are the formats and what are the topics that we can offer, engage professors from the three universities to be with us. So you're going to see the list of courses there. And this list of courses is going to be uploaded and updated uh, whenever we have new courses. So be aware that maybe today we have only five or six courses, but in the next month we are going to have new ones. So every time we have new courses there, we are going to send you a message through Moodle so that we don't uh, fool your post or email. Uh, but please take a look there. You're going to see there. And we can consider only these courses for our micro program because it's part of the partnership. Um, it's mandatory for you to attend courses from at least two civics universities so that we make this a civics experience. So you cannot attend, for example, you're a student from Tübingen, you take courses, courses only from Tübingen and then you receive a civic certificate. It's not possible. So you must attend also courses from Madrid or courses from Bucharest, apart from the courses from Tübingen to be able to receive the certificate. What we do have in this program is also courses that we offer only for, uh, it's a civics course. So it's already conceived by three universities. So these courses are already included in this uh, prerequisite. For every course that we have, we open 10 spots for civics students. So don't worry if this course is also offered by, I don't know, for a department of physics in, in Bucharest, but uh, you're interested on that, we reserve these 10 spots for CV students. So don't, I mean, don't be afraid that you're not going to be accepted only if there are lots of students interested on that, but otherwise we have the 10 spots available for you. And for each course that you attend, you're going to receive a certificate of attendance and then please keep them with you. So we also keep the record of them but uh, just to be sure that we both have the same information and whenever you, you have the 15 credit points ECTS, you can receive the certificate for the micro program. You have actually two years to do that. So we are going to control from your application in the micro program in the period of two years. And in this time, you must be enrolled in your university. So you cannot, for example, finish your master courses and then do some civics activities. It must be together. So you must be enrolled in the university to be able to uh, receive the certificate. And of course, you have to mind to keep in mind that each university has different timetables. So if you apply, if you're studying, let's say, in Madrid, but is applying for a course from Bucharest, so maybe it's not exactly the same dates that you're used to. So pay attention to that and be aware uh, of the different uh, time zones <laughs> and also uh, times for the uh, delivery of 
final essays and so on. Um, how to apply to the program? For those of you that are only interested but didn't have the opportunity to do that, so you go to the web page from CVS, CVS.eu, so it's very easy to find. And you go there in the part of students, you're going to find it there, CVS micro programs. So you click there, you're going to scroll down and find the micro program global awareness. So there, when you click, you open, you're going to see all the information that we are giving you. Now, also the link to apply to the program. So you click there, you're going to fill out a form. We are going to receive this information. You have to be uh, enrolled in a civics university to send us a document that proves that you are a student in a civics university now and for the period that you're going to, to be uh, attending the, the micro program. And then after you were accepted, you're going to receive an acceptance letter uh, with this information, so that's the time that we are counting the two years period. And then you receive a password to go to the uh, Global Awareness Microprogram Registration page, where you can see all the courses. And then you go there, you click in Microprograms, so you can enter the room and it's go forward here. I mean, many others microprograms are using the Moodle room, so you can click there. And then you should be able to see the page. And here again about the micro program, you're going to see again the same information that we're giving to you today, and also the information of the courses. So let's say we have four areas. So let me see here. We have introductory courses, thematic courses, student research projects, and joint projects. So you can choose whatever course you want to attend and just apply. And here is how it goes. So uh, let's give an example of a thematic course. You have here the list of courses, and in this orange button, you have here the possibility to apply. So you click there, you're going to see a page where you have here answer the questions, because in CVs we don't have now a system for enrollment as you used to do or used to have in your university. So we have to improvise somehow using Moodle. So that's why it goes like this. Uh, as soon as CVS has a system to administrate the enrollments, we are going to apply it for our micro program too. But now it, that's how it works. So you answer the questions, and it's actually just the question I want to apply to the course. You give please your name, your university, your student ID, so that we can find you and you're enrolled in the program. So. After receiving this information, we talk to the lecturers and assure that these interested students can have a place in the seminar. And as soon as it's confirmed, you receive an email from us telling that you're in the course. So that it goes very manually, but that's how it's working today. And then when you're done for each course, you're going to receive a certificate of attendance. Here is an example of a certificate given by the University of Tübingen, but it's a a uh, standard formula that every university is going to use to give you the, the credit points. So here we see the number of credit points that you're receiving. And here is a certificate of the micro program. Here is an example of the micro program given by the University of Bucharest. So that's uh, how it's going to look like. And this information is also going to be in your CVS passport. So I think Hokana and Nadia can help us here with a little bit more information about it. Uh, well, just any students uh, that have undertaken a CVS activity will soon receive information uh, and instructions about how they can access the CVS passport or share their, their budgets uh, application. So once all the students have finished the micro program, they will automatically have the certification um, on the CVS platform. So probably everybody will receive a uh, an information and update uh, in the following weeks or months. Okay, thank you, Nadia. So, um, the recognition. So, be aware that uh, the certificate of the micro program is going to be in your CVS platform, CVS passport platform, as Nadia just mentioned. So, uh, you're probably not getting a paper in your hands, but you're going to have this digital certificate. Uh, so, you take the certificate and go to your home university and request for recognition. So each university, as Nadia mentioned before, has already a, a specific 
um, way of dealing with that proceedings to, to recognize that. So please uh, get informed. If you want to add some points, Nadia, just please add. Uh, so each university and each faculty will decide how they are going to recognize this, if they are going to put in these transcript of records as uh, key qualifications, as in the case of Tubingen, if they are going to recognize just part of the credits in the curriculum and part of the credits as extracurricular activities and so on. So each university has its own, own way to deal with the, this question. And uh, as we saw, you are going to have different ways to recognize it. So uh, we have to deal with this diversity here in CBS. So what I, um, I just wanted to express to you, we were very happy that some students, even if they are participating in this piloting, they are very, very happy to be part. So I just received this email and I'm happy to share with you that the students just mentioned, I cannot thank you enough for drawing my attention to the CBS program this year. I'm currently in Stockholm for this week, and I'm with some students from Spain, Scotland, and Germany, your university. So it was very nice to know that students that know me somehow from different uh, courses are getting together and building this community in CVs, and that's what we intend with this program. So we are very happy that it's already happening. Yeah, so here is the team again. So uh, we are almost all here. So from the University of Tübingen, it's me. I'm from Global Awareness Education and Transdisciplinary Course Program in the Department of the Transdisciplinary Course Program and Career Service. Aja Santajero is the one that maybe communicates with some of you, so he cannot be here today because he has classes, but he's the one supporting us in all the communication with the students in all administrative tasks. Uh, from the University of Bucharest, we have Roxana Atsus. Uh, who already presented the micro program for us. She's in the Faculty of Physics. And we have Alexandro Mihai Katis. He's in the Civics Education Unit in the University of Bucharest. And for the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, we have Nadia Pinedo from the Economic Analysis Department and Laura Beck Varela from the Department of Private Law. So these are the team uh, that is heading this micro program. Thank you so much for joining us. We are very happy to have you all here and all to hear your questions and to, to talk to you about the, the program. So uh, if we can be in, of any help, please just write us an email. We are very uh, happy to help you in any step concerning not only our micro program, but colleagues Nadia and Roxana, they are also responsible for CVs project. So please uh, connect to them if you have questions concerning CVs or also the colleagues at your university. Right? We are a team and we can support you whenever you need. Okay, so thank you so much for coming and enjoy the micro program for those that are already enrolled. And we hope to meet you again in the uh, courses and events uh, whenever you can, right? So thank you so much. Mm -hmm.